have a word. And the word comes from Isaiah 55, verse 11. And it says, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish what I please. And it shall prosper in the things for which I sent it. Now, when I had prophesied and I told you that the Lord said that you are going to be the one in your family that's going to change some things. You are going to be the one that, that is going to change everything in your family. The Lord is saying to you today, I seen the mistreatment. I seen everything that you went through. I watched over the years, all of the things when the people called you dumb, when the people called you crazy, when the people said that you was, something was going on with you, when they said that you would grow up and you would become a, be on welfare, when they talked about you, when I saw the mistreatment of when there was favoritisms, when there was favoritism between your parents, when there was favoritisms between the, uh, between the uncles and the aunts, they treated, treated other people with favoritism and you were basically left out. I seen the mistreatment. The mistreatment is because you are the one that is going to be the one that's going to change the things in your family. You're saying to yourself, it can't be me, of course, because you don't see yourself the way God sees you. God is saying that you are going to change it because you are the one that he could trust. You were being tested. And just like Joseph, when Joseph was placed in prison, he was being tested of how, when he was sold, how would he react? How would he respond after that? God said that the mistreatment that you went through, you still continue to love them. Um, God has been speaking to you over the years and just telling you that your family needs Jesus just like you do. And in that, you remember that he said that to you and you continue to treat them with respect. You continue to love them, even though in their hearts, they, their hearts did not um, have good intent at many, many times they didn't have good intention for you. There were times whereas I watched you get mistreated. I watched you get mistreated in relationships. I seen you whereas you got left, where you got, where, where it looked like that that person had left you or rejected you. I seen the pain. I seen the times when you cried all night long. I seen the hurt. I seen when that lady left you. I seen when that man left you. I also seen when people even question you about your uh, uh, sexuality. I seen this. I seen the family members when they, when they did this to you. I saw it all. But I want you to know that the reason why all this was, thank you, Holy Spirit. The reason why all of this was taking place is because you are the Joseph of your family. You are, as, as I would say this, the Josephine, meaning that the, the female that you are the Joseph in your family. God is about to put some things in your hand. You see some things already happening, small things. God said that's nothing compared to what's about to happen. That's almost like it, it, it's small, but God said, I'm about to place a lot in your hand. But when I do this, when I place it in your hand, do not forget about me. Do not forget about God. When basically this, Tell people who did it. A lot of times when, when people say, oh, you know, a lot of times people say, Lord, if you bless me and you, and you, you give me all this money and you, you know, and, 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 and I make it, I'm going to tell people about you. I'm going to, and, and they get big and they forget about God. And then God brings them right back down because they, they'll destroy themselves and they forgot about God. But God said, just do not forget about me. And also he wants you to have faith. Remember when he told Sarah, he told Sarah that she would conceive. Here's a scripture. It says, therefore, in Genesis 18, 12, it says, therefore, Sarah laughed within herself, saying, after I am waxed old, shall I have pleasure, my Lord, being old also. And the Lord said unto Abraham, therefore, did Sarah laugh, saying, shall I of a surely bear a child, which am I old? See, she was old, so she didn't believe that it could happen. And you believe it is not going to happen because you feel like, you basing it off of what's going on right now. And you basing it off of, well, I came from poverty. You know, you're basing it off of, I've never had nothing. I, you know, you're basing it off of all of this around, but God is saying that I'm going to do it for you. As you notice, I'll say this, as you notice, there's a lot of exposure taking place. There's a lot of people being brought down, lots of expo exposure going on in the world. 
And this is the this is the year of exchange, meaning the wealth. And so the people that have mistreated you, God is dealing with them. People are people are being dealt with that mistreated you. And and the ones are that went through this mistreatment are being promoted which means that God, God was able to trust you. Your hands wasn't sticky. There's a lot of people who God puts money in their hands and they become greedy. There's a lot of times God will put money in people's hands and they don't share at all. They don't give, but God said he's given you money over the years. And there was times that you did not even have it. You had probably got your paycheck or you had probably got your welfare check or you probably got, you know, your resources and you was giving, dispersing your resources out to people in your family or your, to your friends or whatever, or this and that. And then there was times where there were friends that thought that you were being mean to them and you wasn't, you was either caught up or busy or working or doing something. And these friends were actually talking behind your back. They were saying mean things because they was basically thought that you were trying to do something wrong, you know, to them, but you wasn't, you was basically working, taking care of your children, taking care of your family. And the friends were talking about you and God seen it. God seen their hearts. God seen your family members' hearts. When there were family members, there was times where as your parents were favoritism, they would favor one child more than they would favor you. And, and, you, and it hurt you. And a lot of the hurt and pain that you deal with and str struggle with now, but God said, I'm going to heal you. I'm healing you from that. And, and, and here's the thing is to walk out of those prison cells. Walk out and let the chains fall. And the chains fall off. Everything that has happened to you, this is a new day. This is a brand new day. All the old is, that's why God tells us to let go of the old. This is totally new. 2024 is about to be something else, y'all. And it's about to be a good thing for you. But it's about to be something else for people that have done these things in the past. God is saying that I am going to do it for you. I am going, I am going to do it for you. My word will not come return back to me void. What I say, this is a rhema word for somebody. Hear me, hear me, hear, hear me when I say this. Look at me when I say this, and I say that in a mean way. Look at me. God is about to bless you. 2024 is about to be big for you. I know you're saying, my prophet is Angela. God did it. God did it for me. No, this is about to be different. And when this happens, you are going to be able to help people in your family, but you must come to God because he's going to tell you, you you're going to make some investments. This money is going to last for generations. Because you're going to be wise with it. And the reason why you were the one who was chosen, because you are the one who has the heart to give. You are the one who still loves, even though you were slammed, slammed, uh, uh, slammed, uh, slammed, I can't even get the word out, even though you were mistreated. You were the one who helped people, even when, when, when even like I said, even when you didn't have it. There was times that God gave you money just to test you to see if you would help people. Even after they talked about you, you still helped them. Turn around and help them. So this is the year of everything changing. And I know that I, I gave this word, but there were some people that laughed like Sarah did. They didn't believe it. God is saying my word that I say will not to return back to me void. I will do the word. You remember when it says God shall supply all your riches according to God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glories. His riches is about to hit your household. 